Well, the idea came about from an initial visit that we went to the US Embassy to just get briefing about Ebola, a more in-depth um, uh, briefing from numerous CDC staff, Department of Defense staff, um, to learn more about the disease itself. And I think that opened my eyes quite a bit, whereby we realized that we need to do a lot more um, about Ebola. And typically, I try to find ways in which I can bring in different inve in, you know, interventions, particularly that of technology. We had some uh, brainstorming sessions with our staff, uh, you know, letting them know all of the things we know about Ebola and of course the economic impact as well that it's having on the company, um, but more so what we could do to help the fight on Ebola. All the different teams from the call center agents receiving the call to the outbound um, officers um, dispatching the calls to case tracking, looking at um, from the start point of where the calls come in, the particular individuals and the calls, whether it's the caller, whether it's the patient, managing all that information across the sector, but making it specifically so for Ebola. We can pass on this information right now, yeah? When we get the information, Jason, just one confirm how to use it. Um, the full cycle of information goes around to the numerous teams that need data to react to the Ebola fight itself. For you. Case number 03105. It's so advanced that we can actually put whether the call that we received was a, if, if it was a fake call or if it was the real call. The surveillance team will go there and check it out and then they come back to us and give us full details and then we enter it onto the software and then we save it. We own two companies here in Sierra Leone. One is a training company and then the other one is a software company. So as a software company was developing the application, the training company was writing a training plan for each of the call center agents so that we actually create consistency in how agents are trained before they're released to the floor because there were lots of challenges. For past information you don't get from the public in surveillance officer, so let them take action. So we had to provide quite a lot of customer-related training, um, you know, emergency, um, you know, dispatch um, related training, um, you know, numerous skill sets that we thought that they needed, anger management, and we combined that into a, a series of training, including um, getting them on full-blown training on the Ebola virus itself, and some basic information that they need to be able to relay to folks on the other end, um, so that we can actually ease the pain on them and let them know that, you know, help was on its way, but it was being managed in, in a particular way that could actually get them results. Hello, Ahmed. Hello. What's the problem with her? What is she complaining? Hello. Okay, okay. High fever. I think um, one of the things that we realize is how much data has become so important in driving the decisions for the fight against Ebola and particularly this call center being the first port of call for gathering the data. Um, it's becoming extremely important that those who are running call centers to fight Ebola must actively make sure that they have systems that can actually capture the data so you can actually distribute this data amongst all the, dis the respective teams that are there. I think to me um, the war on Ebola and on future outbreaks and so many things, um, you know, challenge in Africa relies on human resources um, and those skill sets are extremely important to us. What we're looking at right now is something that is terrifying all of our communities and um, the, the huge economic impact that it's having, adverse economic impact, right now um, I think is something um, the world needs to be looking at. So I think um, we continuously need to put all hands on deck to fight Ebola and for now what we've done is technology related but we're willing to collaborate with whoever is doing things out there to make sure that we get a, a sustained effort to kill Ebola. Sweet Sierra Leone.